Den geht hier. Okay, Honorable Senators and the parties, uh, we are back now in our open session. We had a brief in-house uh, session to sort out our own things. But just to clarify a few things, the program today will now is starting at about 9.30. So there's going to be evidence by the governor, evidence of witnesses, if any, cross-examination and re-examination. That should, uh, you've been allocated four hours, you should be able to tell us within the four hours how you want to manage that time, including the cross-examination from the other side, so that we don't run into the problems we had yesterday. So I'll be giving you an opportunity to tell us how you want us to manage it. Then we will have um, between 130 questions, requests, uh, clarification from the senators. Then we'll have a lunch break. Then at 2.30 to 3.30, We'll have closing statements on behalf of the county assembly. We'll have 60 minutes. Then 3.30 to 4 p.m. we shall have closing statements on behalf of the governor, 60 minutes. Then between 4.30 and 6.30, we shall have a closed session. Those are deliberations now. The, the court will retreat to look at all that has been presented. And then we're hoping that by 6.30 p.m. we should be able now to take the vote. So, Council for the Governor, you're welcome. And start by telling us how you want us to manage that the four hours. also have the governor himself testify and in order to dispel the notion that he is guilty of the allegations leveled against him and we will be using the affidavits in support. My first witness is Ms. the Honorable Sylvia Musaya. I wish to have her on the dock and I will be within the time that has been prescribed, Mr. Speaker, sir. You have given us uh, from, uh, I presume, 9.35 a.m., so that then we should finish within the four hours. Ms. Sylvia Mosea. Members of the Senate. For four hours, how will you, how are you apportioning it? Because you must also accommodate the other side so that you don't take three and a half hours and then they have 30 minutes. That's what no, I'm saying. No, we, sorry, Mr. Spears. We, we will be fair enough. However, the... Yes, uh, Senator Wetangula. Mr. Speaker. Yeah, just a minute. Oh. Mr. Speaker, you have rightly uh, directed that time management is critical. It will be absolutely helpful for the learned lawyer, Mr. Kinyanjui, to tell you and the House how many witnesses he's calling so that you sequence how they are going to be called, the time he spends examining them, the time you allow cross-examination, re-examination, if any, so that we can have a more orderly and time-bound process. Because we don't want a situation where he calls one witness, moves on for three hours, and then says, I have three others, and I have only one hour, I need more time. Yes, uh, precisely, that's what I was saying, that you need to be, we need to be very clear from the beginning so that we manage our time. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, Honorable Senator Tangula. I thank you for the concern. Mr. Speaker, sir, I intend to take a minimum of about five to ten minutes on every witness. 
however, for the governor, on account of the extended uh, uh, accusations that have been leveled against him, I will take the chunk of the time that is going to be outstanding. Once How many other witnesses do you have? I have in some seven witnesses. Seven witnesses. Mr. Speaker, sir, my first witness is uh, Honorable Sylvia Moseya. Okay, the counsel for the county assembly. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, before uh, the... I, I had addressed you so that we cover the ground and we do not come back to it yesterday. And Mr. Speaker, sir, the issue had a reason as to the document which I had filed in consequence of the late service of the documents by the county assembly. And in your ruling, immediately upon the delivery of your ruling yesterday, pursuant to Rule 29 of uh, the Fifth Schedule Part 1 of the Honorable House's rules, I pleaded and sought for the leave of this, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, this Honorable House, for the admission of my, the Governor's evidence, and it was so admitted. However, Mr. Speaker, sir, you directed that you would confer with the Hansard and confirm that indeed that was it. And I did reference the document when I was cross-examining the chief or witness number one for the county assembly. It was submitted and I was given by the clerk's office the designation as number uh, H, 10H and 10G. That those were the designations in consequence of your said ruling. Yes, Council. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Again, uh, we are ready to proceed with today's proceedings, but we seem to be constrained of the disclosure from the governor's side, insofar as the question of the witnesses that are being called are an issue. When you gave us your directions, Mr. Speaker, prior to the commencement of these proceedings, it was clear, it was clear that uh, the proceedings would be guided by Rule 7 of this, uh, this House. And most, most importantly, in the question of the disclosure of the witnesses that parties are intending to rely with, that has not been done to us, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Kinyanjui is always very fast to cling to the provisions of Article 50 about fair hearing and also abrogates the same when it comes to the part of the, def uh, of the prosecutor. Mr. Speaker, the statements that Mr. Kinyanjui is now calling the witnesses to rely on have not been furnished. And that's where we got into this probably issue, Mr. Speaker, because the document that Mr. Kinyanjui is seeking leave to address us on was not part of the document that was served. That would be serious, serious miscarriage of justice if we are to prosecute or defend a case that has not been laid bare in advance. Despite how able advocates might be, despite the team of advocates that one might be, if evidence has not been laid bare in advance, Mr. Speaker, the defense, the, the prosecutor will have serious uphill in rebutting the prepositions that will be uh, mentioned. Mr. Speaker, allow me to ask Mr. Kokebe just to have a, a highlight on that issue. Yes, Council for Governor. Thank, Thank you very you, Mr. much, Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. I beg to differ with tremendous respect to, uh, with my learned friend. Now, the affidavits of all my witnesses have been filed and served, including that of the governor, His Excellency. Now, the document of my first witness is contained in volume, sir, volume three of D. This is stamped, filed on the 15th of December at 3.45 p.m., duly served on the County Assembly Advocates. Volume three, page 654, page 654, it is there. 
it was duly served. That's my first witness. My second witness is also there. I have the affidavits annexed, and they run in volume. They are in volume two also, filed on the 15th of December, served at 3.45 p.m. Um, we have page 200, and it's running from page 220. Sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Yes, page 200 we do have as well, running all the way up to page 277, 278. We have that evidence. It was duly served. So I think the objection should be overruled so that, Mr. Speaker, sir, I can proceed without any further ado. So the but lamentation is totally with respect. Mr. Speaker, sir, misplaced, honorable members. Thank you. Um, honorable senators and uh, council, I think to allow us, we want to be fair to everyone. And therefore, for this court to be able to come up, for me to be able to come up with a fair judgment, I want us to go into a closed session for another about 20 minutes. Then you, I call you back. So much let me check here. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Senator Mutula, you see? Just hold on, there's an intervention, yes, yes. For, for, for good order, uh, Speaker, uh, the lawyers are referring to documents, and we have different references. For example, the volume three that um, my learned friend Kinyanju is referring to is 10D2. So for, for good measure, uh, Speaker, when they come back, I propose they use the references that we have. Otherwise, we are getting lost in uh, volume three, volume two. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, when you come back, let's use the references that we have. Maybe the, the Secretary can also assist us to check what the documents they are, they are referring to. Okay, you come back after 20 minutes.